All right, YouTube, I am here with another wet dry vac for y'all to view. It's just a standard shop vac brand, and this was another trash find. Um, it doesn't sound too bad, but it does kind of have that startup situation going on. It's also not really loud either. Um, like, it's not like the Eureka there where you no doubt heard how loud that was before the bearings locked up on it. I still need to take that apart and work on it. But anyway, here we are with this ShopVac brand. Um, when I got it, this part of the hose was clogged and I need to definitely fix the cord on it because that is not acceptable right there. Not for me anyway. So, I mean, it's a pretty tight fit right there, but still, when you go to use it at like a rough clean or something like that, where they have, where they have actually hooked up the power and the wheels need to be freed up on it too. Um, when you pull it, it's prone to come loose and short something out and all that. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and give it a running. As you can hear, it's not very loud. paper you can get it to clean up out of here. Thought it was some dirt. The bag from the Supreme Power Drive.
almost thought that was too hard. It sounds and runs pretty good. Yeah, it's a 10 gallon wet dry vac. I know a lot of people would probably believe that that's a seven, but does this really look like a 70 gallon shop vac? But yeah, hose is clogged up in there because it, I guess it's because it's a little kinked. Like they say these are kink free, but they're not fully kink free. Let's go ahead and open it up. Instead of the little one like my mom has, and has three unlocks. Yeah, here's all the paper and stuff. I'm not gonna dump this out into my dirt savings account because as you can see, it won't really fit into that genie container. I thought about using that container from that rigid right there to have my dirt savings account because it's bigger and all that and bigger is better if you're doing ASMR it's a 12 gallon yeah with it when you're doing ASMR videos it is better to have a large capacity for all your dirt it'd probably help if I'd take some of those cut up bags out of there but yeah, I'm gonna, probably going to do that here after the video, but anyway, there's the 10-gallon shop vac brand wet dry vac, and oh, and at least I can put bags in it, <laughs> which isn't really good if you're doing the kind of work I normally do, but anyway, yeah, got a little spot there, so... Well, this may seem to be a waste of time. Go ahead and do it. It's on the under the Panasonic, and the Panasonic thing just fell off again. Yeah, I need to find a way to fix this door without, preferably without taping it. Because I don't want to tape it and then have to re-tape it again and all that. I'm probably going to set something up with screws. Like little screws, back it out and all that and just take it off. But yeah. There's the shop vac, 10 gallon. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Tell me how y'all liked it. Tell me what y'all want to see. I'll see what I can do, how I can do it, and when I can do it. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And also some ASMR. As well as versus tests. So, until next time. Bye.